Welcome to back to this year's coverage of the NFL Draft. I'm Jimmy Cavanaugh, joined by Sean Nash. Last segment, we took a look at the two premier quarterback prospects in this draft, Stanford's Andrew Luck and Baylor's Robert Griffin III, who went 1-2 and two to Indianapolis and Washington, respectively. Here in this segment, we're going to take a look at the two premier wide receivers of this class, Oklahoma State's Justin Blackman and Notre Dame's Michael Floyd. Uh, Sean, why don't you start us off? Actually, Jimmy, I'm going to start with the 13th pick rather than the 5th pick. Uh, Michael Floyd out of Notre Dame going to the Arizona Cardinals. Actually, Larry Fitzgerald was huge on having Michael Floyd brought into Arizona. And now they have two premier wide receivers on the outside, both 6'4 plus. Michael Floyd, absolute beast on the outside. Incredible strength. We've seen highlights from him at Notre Dame just having uh, defensive backs draped all over him and able to pull, pull the ball down and arguably he didn't have the best quarterbacks throwing to him during his career in Notre Dame. Uh, I know a lot of people at South Bend aren't high on Tommy Reese. Uh, he has absolute athletic uh, ability, very fast and honestly the only reason people will say he may be the second pick was because of little issues he had in college got in a little trouble, a little drinking, but it's college. I don't think it'll be a big deal for him. Larry Fitzgerald to keep him in line, he being one of the role models of the NFL. I think my, Michael Floyd will be one of the top receivers for years to come in the NFL. Yeah, Floyd was clearly a beast this year, but I'm going to talk about the other guy, someone who was drafted higher, as you mentioned a little earlier, Justin Blackman from Oklahoma State. This is the Belitnikoff Award winner. Somebody who played with Des Bryant a couple of years ago. Could still be playing with him and could potentially be the best receiver on his team if Des Bryant was still in Oklahoma, on Oklahoma State. This is a guy who's in tip-top physical condition. A little smaller than Mike Floyd. Not as big as Mike Floyd uh, weight-wise. But somebody who has great hands, is able to go up in traffic to make catches. A tremendous physical specimen still in terms of strength. Somebody who can fight with defensive backs for position, fight with them for ball control, and go up in traffic and make great catches. He's not going to get as great of separation from defensive backs as Floyd will. He's not quite as strong, but he uses his body very, very well. And Jacksonville may have well picked up a number one wide receiver with that number one overall pick. And if you're looking at this team-wise on where they went, you got to be looking at the St. Louis Rams and thinking, what were you doing? Keep moving back. Just sit where you were. Maybe fall back once. But then you got to pick up the others. Sam Bradford has no one to throw to on this team right now. And now Arizona has one of the best receiving cores now in the league, arguably, with Michael Floyd. If he is uh, lives up to the hype of his pick. And now Jacksonville finally has a receiver for Blaine Gra uh, Gabbard excuse me, to throw to. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Blaine Gabber is able to do because the jury is still out on him. Just, uh, Justin Blackman will provide him a number one target that he has not had. Last year, he had Mike Thomas and his tight end to throw to. He had basically two targets, neither of whom we would consider a number one receiver. Blackman's going to fit that bill. I wonder, though, Sean, uh, we, we've talked about the strengths of some of these players. You talked about Floyd's weaknesses sliding down the draft board because of alcohol-related issues. What are some shortcomings he has as a player that might end up holding him back? Injuries, he, he would get beat up a lot because he does just throw his body into cornerbacks and he basically throws his body with reckless abandon, going for footballs. And in the NFL, you're going to get depleted. You're going to get basically your head knocked off if you keep doing that against these prolific defensive backs. They're not going allow to you, allow you to go over the middle. Luckily for him, he may face a lot more single coverage with Larry Fitzgerald out there. Uh, and as far as Justin Blackman goes, we know about what he is. I don't know uh, so far what he isn't because you see him as a six foot, 190 pound receiver, a big enough guy. But in the NFL, there are going to be bigger guys than him. He's smaller than Des Bryant, smaller than a lot of number one receivers out there. Yeah, and the injuries you mentioned with Mike Floyd could potentially be an issue with Justin Blackman if he's not able to stay away from defensive backs and manage to keep healthy. Well, that's all the time we have here. For Sean Nash, I'm Jimmy Calvin. I'll bring you this year's coverage of the NFL Draft. Thanks for watching.